Hello everybody, today is June 14th, 2017 and I had requests to do a video on the Masonic Bible and I want to let you know that I found this particular Bible at one of those Goodwill stores where they sell by the bulk all of the items that they cannot sell um, inside of their um, stores and I happened to find this in the rubbish and I only paid like I either paid 50 cents for it or a dollar so let's uh, let's take a look inside of it so oh and you'll notice that it's got all that nice gold on it and excuse me for a second while I put on my glasses so I can actually show you what or I can actually see what I'm doing here okay so inside oh, this is the original owner Rudolf A. Keller and he received this in 1955 which is when this was printed and let me see pictorial pronouncing dictionary blah 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 it, ha it has um, oh it's the new standard alphabetical indexed Bible school and library reference edition hmm, that's interesting many unique features of the Bible it's a red letter edition and I will tell you this is the KJV not the 1611 though but the the six the KJV that hasn't um, that hasn't been changed since um, okay see copyright 1955 all right oh, alphabetical table of contents now, let's oh look at this from darkness to light check that out look we have alchemy eastern star baphomet check it out and I would imagine that uh, whoever this person was affiliated with and um, oh well wow, Ruth Esther Martha Electa Warder Sentinel ah oh, you know what this is the order of the Eastern Star don't ask me how I know that but I do Okay, but there's nothing here, of course. Oh, Masonic record. That's real interesting. Ooh, Knight of the Red Cross, Knight of Malta, Knight Templar. Wow. Oh, ancient and accepted Scottish Rite record. I'm thinking he didn't get very far in his initiation. Oh, look at this. Defense of Democracy in the Land of Liberty. You know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some photographs after I get done with this, and then I will post them at the end of this little video here so you can take a really good close-up look at it. Photo of George Washington's Sash worn in the Revolutionary War at the time he resigned his commission in 1783. Oh boy. <gasps> the building of Solomon's Temple. Oh look, this is George Washington's Masonic apron. Oh, look at that. Okay. Kind of feel like there's... Oh, there we go. So we know that it's Solomon that these people um, have a really high regard for, or Solomon. Oop, the building of Solomon's Temple. Oh, there you go. Check that out. And if you know you, you want to look, just pause the video. Oh, free and accepted masonry. Oh, check this out. These are the titles. So when you first become, you become an apprentice. 
then you become the fellow crafter and then you become a master when you get to the third degree and what I understand is once you reach the third degree then you make your decision as to which branch you want to go off of whether you want to continue on with um, the Scottish Rite or you want to move on to the Royal Arch and blah 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 oh there it is York Rite what is meant to be what is meant by the York Rite so you've got the Royal Arch Mason you got the cryptic wow cryptic hmm, masonry and then you got the Order of the Knights Templar you know this is really interesting because this is their steps up if you decide to take the York Rite holy cow check this out oh the chisel the mallet oh well so if I'm looking at a chisel and a mallet then I guess I could be I guess I could be looking at somebody who is in the York right and is a mark master interesting mm -hmm. so they follow Solomon okay so we got this hmm, order of the Red Cross kinda reminds me of the Rosicrucians huh but no but this is of well the Rosicrucians are the Rosy Cross Oh, there's Mr. Pike. Liar. Okay, so we have, oh, ritualistic commentary. Okay. So we've got the secret master when you get up into the fourth level. Perfect master, five. Intimate secretary, number six. Provost and judge, seven. Intendant of the building, eight. Elect of the nine, nine. Interesting. Illustrious, oh, illustrious elect of the fifteen. Sublime elect of the twelve. Grand master architect in the Royal Arch of Solomon. Hmm. Oh, we're getting up into the 30, 30 degrees, guys. Okay, grand elect, per, uh, perfect, and sublime mason. I don't even know if this is going to let you see it up close. Um, Knight of the East or the Sword, Prince of the Jerusalem, Knight of the East and West, Knight of the Ro uh, Rose Croix, which is cross, Prince Rose Croix. And then we got the Grand Pontiff. Grand Master of all Symbolic Lodges. Oh, that's number 20. The Noachite or Prussian Knight. Wow, they really take these titles seriously, don't they? Prince of Libanus. Uh, let's see. Chief of the Tabernacle. Prince of the Tabernacle. Knight of the Brazen Serpent. Hmm. You think they're starting to understand what they're actually worshiping? Prince of Mercy or Scottish Trinitarian. Knight of Commander of the Temple. All right. Knight of the Sun or Prince Adept. Grand Scottish Knight of St. Andrew. Knight Kadosh. Grand Inspector Inquisitor Commander. You know, it almost sounds like the Spanish Inquisition but that's just me sublime prince of the royal secret that would be number 32 and then this is a rank and decoration and recognition of services in the right 33 oh 33rd degree is a conferred degree the last is this is in the Scottish right interesting Okay, and then we have questions and answers relating to characters, places, words, and phrases used in symbolic masonry. Ooh, cow, and what is that? An intruder or eavesdropper? Crowned martyrs. Who are they? Four operative masons put to death during the reign of the Roman Emperor 
uh, Diocletian for refusing to aid in building a pagan temple. The famous literary lodge of London, Cator Coronati was named for them. Cube, Sorry, guys, to whom is sacred, my Apollo. Identical Camera turned itself Helios off. The wow, there's a lot of, of interesting stuff in here. Holy crap. Okay. Well, now you know Freemasonry in America. Wow. Who were modern Masons? Supporters of the Grand Lodge in England. Who were ancient Masons? The Irish Masons who formed a rival Grand Lodge in London. Were these rival Grand Lodges represented in America? Yes. The ancients became popular and organized in Massachusetts, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, South Carolina, where they worked as ancient York Lodges. Gee, that would be right around the time of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And <clears throat> I do happen to know that Benjamin Franklin had a lot to do with these lodges. So that would definitely be something for anybody interested to look into. Oh gosh, there's just so much stuff here. Holy cow. Okay, so we get into the alphabetical encyclopedic index to the Holy Bible considering, concerning the work of Freemasonry. is injecting to the fact that I am wow. using it at the moment because it keeps shutting itself off. But that's okay. We're going to get through this because you guys asked, you want to know what's in the Masonic Bible? I'm going to darn well show you. Oh, well. Distressed worthy brother. To go to the aid of a distressed worthy brother is not only the obligation of every Mason, true and good, but it is solemnly enjoined by Holy Writ. We are our brother's keeper. Hmm. All right. Now this. Okay, so. Oh. Okay, the Eastern Star. Order of the Eastern Star. Oh, wow. Okay, and then there's Boaz and Ruth. Oh, Elizabeth Butler. Uh-huh, she was a grand matron. She was a... Um, she was a female mason, belonged to the Eastern Star. Oh, check this out. Masonic presidents of our country. So you want to know who they were? Who's that? That would be George Washington. Okay. Oop, Thomas Jefferson. James Madison. Check it out. James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, probably the most hated president by me because he is the one who issued the death manifest destiny against my kin, my Native American kin. Okay, James Knox Polk, James Buchanan, Andrew Johnson, James Garfield, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Warren Gamaliel Harding, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, and that's it, because remember this book was uh, printed in 1955. Scottish Rite, George Washington, Masonic National Memorial, Eastern Star International Headquarters, General Washington, D.C. Oh, let's see. Let's keep going here. Alphabetical Encyclopedic Index. So there's all kinds of stuff in here. Um, it's more like a, um, an index dreams and then it takes you Hendersley, Daniel, 
uh, chapter 2, verses 1, page. Okay, so let's keep moving. Oh, this is a long... Oh, this is a long line. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's taking so long, guys. There's a lot in here to see. A guide for religious workers. Wow. A guide for religious workers and Bible teachers. Who can and should do personal work? Now, I just have to reiterate, you guys, that the Masons are not Christians. Okay? It, it's just not... It's not so. Backslider. How he may return to the Lord. Hmm. And I wonder which God they're talking about. Okay. Let's see. Go. A guide for religious workers. This that ought to be an interesting study, actually. Oh, synchronous history of the nations. Oh well, look, time of the kings. Look at that. Old Testament chronology. Okay. So, okay, the Acts of the Apostles. I mean, they really go into depth with this stuff. I mean, we haven't even gotten to the, we haven't even gotten to the, um, to the Bible yet. And we're already up to 277 pages. So let's look at this. Bible and Education. So I guess they tell you how to use it if you're going to teach it. Okay, and they do acknowledge that it is an inspired book. Oh, here we go. So, oh, facts about the Bible. Okay. And notice that their references are way different than what we would find in our conventional Bible. So let's, let's come back. And Christ's words are in red, because that's what it advertised. <clears throat> okay, so we're at the book, Revelation, Palestine or the Holy Land. Geology of Palestine. Sounds like they are very, very interested in Palestine. And they've got a table here. Okay. Let's see. Guide to the laws of the Bible. And I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I don't mean to be. And then the comprehensive dictionary. Ancient shipbuilding, the Adder, Mount Ararat in Armenia, Absalom's tomb. Oh well, see, we we bring up, uh, or the Masonic Bible brings up. Uh, deities and see we're totally into Solomon here altar in Solomon's temple this looks like oh this is the Assyrian king oh Ashtoreth okay Assyrian armlet oh look Egyptian ark they're totally interested in um in their Egyptian mythology here. See, this is the kind of stuff you don't find in a conventional Bible. So check that out. Wow. 
Wow. Ruins of the Temple of Victory in Athens. You know, this looks familiar. I guess I only have to look at a as a at a Palestinian lodge or a Rosicrucian lodge and see something this similar um, up over the door. So, see, so check it out. Oh, look. Tyrian coin with head of Baal. Yeah, this is some interesting stuff. All right, there was something else that I wanted to show you that um, oh, let's see, comprehensive Bible dictionary. You know, well, even more stuff. Um, all right, there is one thing that I saw in here that had my cogs spinning here and it has everything to do with the um, the gems okay Let's see we got that all right give me a second I'm gonna see if I can find it okay hold on <laughs> 